all out leg day at Elite. This is a great session. Follow along. All right, guys, here we are at Elite for another glorious leg day. And I say that because we have some new techniques in here for you today. And I'm going to walk through each and every exercise one by one, talk to you about what to do, how to instill these workouts and workout principles within your next session. So even if you don't want to do this entire thing start to finish, you can at least cherry pick these exercises and techniques and get growth off of them. All right, exercise number one, shocker, lying leg curls, right? <laughs> so what I did here was I did two warm up sets of 15 and 12, and then I put 80 pounds on the stack, which is really light, right? But I wanted to nail two sets of 20 with this. So I normally don't train leg curls in a high rep range, meaning above 12 or 15. So when I take this to 20, it just sets me on a whole new level of fire. So I ended up doing two work sets with 80 for 15. Now, life depending on, I probably had two or three reps in the tank if someone had a gun to my head. So it's probably an RPE of eight for those sets of 20, but the pump and burn was wild and set me up for my next two work sets, which I would consider true failure. All right, these next two, two sets of six, but I want you to watch how slow the negative is. It's literally creeping, so I fire up, contract as hard as I can, and then I just fight this negative all the way down to almost where the weights touch, and then right back up. Six reps like that, controlling everyone. I'm telling you, that's all I did for hamstrings today, and that's all they needed. Like, still, at the end of this session, they are fully pumped from just those four sets. <laughs> Next up, adductor. So I worked up, I ended up doing like three warm ups, two fill sets, and then my work set was with a quarter tacked on. And I was just trying to really own those reps, really get a great contraction on my adductor, a good stretch, but not over stretching because that's what I'm gonna do with my back off. So with this top end load, I went all the way till I missed a rep, and then I did two extra force by taking my hands, pushing my knees in, and then controlling the negative all on my own. So this is an easy way if you don't have a partner to do force reps on this adductor machine to really milk every bit of this exercise. Now, back offset. You guys have never seen me do this. What I'm doing here is coming all the way out to the weights bottom out. I'm feeling that stretch and lengthening of the adductor, and I'm holding in there for a three count. So one, two, three, and then fire together control. I have honestly have no idea how many reps I got there. I just went until I couldn't do a solid rep of my own, did one forced, and then stopped the set after I controlled it and then held that stretch. So with this, the back off, I'm really looking to work the lengthened position. That's it for hamstrings, that's it for adductors. Now we're going to some quads. Third in rotation here, the John Meadows warm up. So I did 15, 15, six, four, three, four. I just felt like I had a little bit more to milk out of those quads. And honestly, it just felt really good. I was super connected. Knees felt nice and warmed up. I just want to get a little bit more blood into my quads before we get into the leg press, which is going to be a money maker exercise for us today. Leg press. I did three sets total before this one you're about to see. I did two warm-up sets, one fill set, and then I put six plates on each side and just really tried to control and own the negative and then fire up to three-fourths lockout and then right back down. I think I ended up getting 15 reps there and the pump of my quads. <laughs> it didn't take long to shift some blood from my hamstrings and adductors into those quads after that set. Ah! 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 
I rested around two minutes or so until my breathing came back. I pulled three plates and then I just pumped 30 reps. Nothing fancy, nothing special. That wasn't like a death set, so to speak. I just wanted to pump reps nonstop and fight that burn and then rack it at 30 before we get into some hack squats. All right, with hack squats, three fill sets of six reps. So two plates, three plates, four plates. And then I wanted six on there. So I did a triple drop. So six for 10, strip two, did four plates for 10, stripped one, three plates for 10. And <laughs> man, that, that tension there of just taking these all the way deep. I didn't really pause in the hole like I normally would. I just really smooth, rhythmic, deep, full range of motion reps. The goal here was just maximal hump and burn. So that's 30 total reps. One work set there, and I'm telling you, those felt incredible. No pain or stress in my knees or back, and there's no reason why I can't mirror that exact same thing with the exact same weight, but take that to 15 next week. So I would actually be adding 15 total reps. So 15 with six, 15 with four, 15 with three. So you can progress up within a volume approach just by adding reps with the same weight. You don't have to jump all the way to 15. Like I just said, you could jump to 11, to 12, 13, or even 14, honestly but just that's still gonna be progression. So a way to work technically progressive overload without doing like your normal top in and back off. So that's what we we're looking for on the hack squat. All right guys, if you watched this video with how to do Bulgarian split squats the right way, using a band, doing a triple drop, that's exactly what we did today. So I actually had one of my really good clients, John, he uh, posted a picture of Bulgarian split squats and I had some feedback for him. So I wanted to give him an exact example of what it should look like. So if you look here, pay attention to these cues, I'm thinking about going down controlled with every single rep. My head is neutral, meaning I'm not looking up, I'm not looking down, I'm looking straight ahead, keeping neutral spine alignment. So I don't tweak my neck or trap in a weird way and then it throws off my back and the next thing you know, my lower back's hurting again. So neutral neck alignment, guys. Look straight ahead, stare at yourself in the mirror or find a dot on the wall on the center block and just stare at it the whole time. So what if you notice here, all those coaching cues, I hit 10 and then I wanted a 10 second ISO hold. Now, listen to Chaz's cadence. I told him, count the 10, count slow. This isn't a rush. This isn't one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, too fast. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ah! eight, nine, 10. You hear that slow cadence? If you have a training partner, he's counting fast, fire him. Tell him to slow that shit down. Make it awful. Make him make you suffer. Because I'm not dropping to the floor before that he says 10. I'm not doing it. Hold yourself accountable. Count slow, make it hard. Guys, run to the pain, not away from it. How many times do I have to say this? Pain is what causes growth. Pain was what causes adaptation. Bigger, better, stronger muscles. If you build your pain tolerance, you can take the exercises further, deeper into a set. The longer you can fight that burn, train your brain to get used to that sensation. You know, I heard Branch Warren say years ago, when he used to start to burn, he used to laugh and get mad because he knew that's when progress was happening. And I took that to heart. When that burn starts, that's when progress is being made. All the reps before that burn was a preheat. If you think about preheat in the oven, that's not cooking any of the cake. I don't cook that cake till it slides in the oven once at proper temperature. If you want progress, that's what you have to do. You have to find ways to make things harder, not easier and faster. The more time we can keep that muscle under load and under tension, 
the more growth we will see. We're bodybuilders, we aren't weightlifters. It's not A to B, it's how can I make it from A to B with as much intent on the target muscle with making as much pain and pump as possible. Once you flip that switch in your brain, I'm telling you, you'll see new levels of growth. If you like this video, guys, like, share, subscribe. Another just solid leg today for you guys to take, put into practice, and get to growing those legs. This wasn't a ton of work sets, but the intent behind every work set was with purpose. So I challenge you guys at home, do this session, mirror the effort, and watch the results to come. Until the next time, Krebs CB.